In this short video, we will show how we convert rotors without pinions to rotors with pinions to customize them according to customer requirements as the orders come in. These are our doers, which are special containers to hold our liquid nitrogen. We not only stock rotors without pinions attached for the Model 220, but also for the models 113 LS, 138 LS, 165 LS, 320, 400, 500, and 630. Note also that all gearboxes are stocked without gears fitted into the gearbox. We build gearboxes to order according to customers' belt speed requirements. These are the rotor pinions for the Model 220. Now Pete is going to be putting the rotor pinion into our container for chilling. Now we'll put liquid nitrogen into the container. We're approximately 72 degrees Fahrenheit in the shop at the moment. The liquid nitrogen appears to boil as it decreases the temperature of the pinions. We wait until the liquid nitrogen appears to stop boiling. That tells us that the pinions have reached the minimum temperature that they're going to reach. Just an aside, we like to prep the rotors before we press the pinions with the bearings. In some cases, the pinions are bigger than the bearings, so they have to go on first. In this case, they're smaller, but it's good practice to have your bearings on first. We know that when the liquid nitrogen stops boiling, the steel part is approximately minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now we know that the pinions have reached their minimum temperature. Give it a slight tap. In this case, it's a smaller pinion. You need to stop 